Okay, so let's wake up the doggy for playing some impulse control game here, okay? Need to wake you up first, so we're gonna play chase and get the treat first, okay? You want to love me? Oh, and she's not even noticing the scroll running right around here, ha? Huh? Nip. Perfect. Nip. Come on. Nip. Okay. Nip. <laughs> Love nip. This is how you can get your dog ready and excited for playing Love Nip games with you. While the other one has to wait patiently. Okay, good day. So good. See if you still remember that game. Good day. Okay, love him. I don't want her to lie down. That's that issue. That's why I didn't open my hand. I want her to stand or sit or something, but not lie down. So the dog is only getting the treat or the piece of food if he's not trying to get it. The steps are when your dog is not nibbling my hand anymore like she did when the dog is backing up. Good. Then you open the hand. If the dog is not coming, you lift one up that it's closer for the dog to reach, that it's closer to the dog's nose, but don't put it right in front of it, just a little bit and not higher than the dog's nose, not like here where it's harder for the dog to get, or here, just right where the dog would be about to be getting it more easily. And if the dog is not coming to get it, then you put it right in front of the dog's mouth, or dog is opening most likely when you come with your hand anyway. And if the dog is not doing that, if she just came, I would put it back in my hand, and if she came even closer, I would close my hand. She's still standing, so hand is open. I pick it up. And you should be able to advance it so far that, oops, accidentally one fell. Of course, I did it on purpose, but if you accidentally drop one, your dog should not be coming to get it. Your dog should still be standing there. So I just reduce her because I want to show you that part of the game a little bit better. Okay, lauf, nimm. A little bit more. So let's see if we can see it better here. And I need to give that poor doggy behind the behind the fence a reward for being so good. Okay, 